Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Dutchman Plays Chef Life. We're at stay two in our kitchen. We are getting right back into it. Still in the tutorial. Kasim, I believe, has another dish for us to learn. But we shall see. The dining room is ready. I've set up all the furniture. And since our grand opening is in its two days, 100,000 euros in debt, by the way. It's the perfect time to brush up on the basics before the big day. Hello, anybody here? So you're the ones opening the new restaurant. I'm Max, welcome to our city. We'll see each other a lot, I'm sure. I do the deliveries for all the produce suppliers around here. I also take the orders, so we'll be taking, we'll be talking often too. I'm looking forward to it. But before I go, I've got some leftover stock from a previous delivery. So I thought I'd just leave it with you. But not a word to my boss, okay? I think that's kind of illegal, Sam. Max? Sam and Max? You're both of them? Inserted a gift. I'll leave you my number. Good luck with everything. I'll see you around. Wait, the delivery girl gave us free produce? That's amazing. We'll have to thank her somehow. Take a look at the research table. See if those ingredients can be used in any new recipes. Max, you have Aunt Max who's in charge of deliveries for your restaurant. She will sometimes drop by to let you know about discounts offered by your suppliers. Yo, discounts is how we make the money. Research table. Use the research table to learn new recipes. By sending KP or knowledge points, you can unlock brand new recipes. These points are earned each time you cook a dish. Keep in mind that the higher the grade you receive for these dishes, the more knowledge points you earn. Recipes are categorized by level, from basic meals to sophisticated dishes. The more sophisticated recipes will become available as you level up. They are more complicated to make, but allow you to earn more money. Which is our goal. Upgrading recipes. The recipes you already own can also be developed into higher level dishes. If you prepare a dish enough times, you can unlock the ability to improve its level. Use a recipe book to unlock it. All right. Yo, look at these level five and level six dishes. Yo, fireside soup sounds pretty good. So they're sorted into categories. There's four casual restaurant cuisine. We have a lot of bistronomic cuisine. I, I don't even know what a bistro technically means. Gastronomic cuisine, again. And beiges. They get the gastronomic cuisine badge for being the gastronomic gym leader with your gastronomic dishes. Anyways, um, I think they want us to unlock both of these. We only have two points. So Caprici and Basil, you've unlocked the recipe for Caprici and Basil. You need to make it at least once before you can add it to your menu. New ingredients, we got basil, tomato, mozzarella, sugar, and I believe that's vinegar. New cookware, now available on their respective shelves. Orange carrot and mint consomme, and cacio e pepe. Sol manier and green beans. I'll have to recipe for sol manier and green beans. These ingredients are now available on your shelves. Uh, rolled omelet, Japanese style, some orange juice, green beans with a rubber band still on for uh, added texture, wheat flour, and fish. Fish. Have okay, quit. Recipe. Earn or pin the recipe for caprese and basil and salmonia. Manwa. Caprese. Control and then how to how to go to next. So many air. Me unier. Me unier. So me unier. It's fish. Pin. Alright. I think that's everything. Make a brand new dish. Mozzarella salad. Make a brand new dish. Filet of sole. Um, sugar, balsamic vinegar, mozzarella, tomato, basil, 
Uh, it's everything. That's all five ingredients. Yeah. Ingredients. Balsamic cream. You can prepare the dish beforehand and keep it in the refrigerator. So we need our pot. Sugar and vinegar. Start. Let me get my seasonings just in case I need them. Uh, use cooking range. Some foods can stick to the pan. Make sure to stir occasionally to prevent this from happening. Stir. Little mouse activity there, and you're good to go. No seasoning necessary for the balsamic cream. More like a balsamic reduction sauce, I believe. Just sugar and balsamic vinegar. Cook it a little bit to thicken it up. Probably stir it twice and we'll be good to go. I think we're gonna need a deep fryer today, but we might. Yeah, this will finish before we need to stir it again. It's a cool game, I'm having fun. Take the summer cream, please and thank you. Didn't burn it, kept on stirring it. Tomatoes sliced and mozzarella sliced. You can select the recipe you want to make directly from a workstation. Most of available recipes changes depend on the ingredients in your inventory. Oh, this is not the um, chopping board. Sliced mozzarella, sliced tomato. Uh huh. Take all, and we're back over to the mixing table. Now we have what we need. Um. Place all and start. Down. Places the tomato and mozzarella. We can season it now. What do we need? It's in a lot of salt. Perfect. We are very good at our job. Last tomato, hold left, and you sauce it up. I believe now we go and plate it up. So I mentioned at the start of the first episode that uh, our creativity in plating is a bit lacking. I have a way around that. You've learned a recipe for caprese and basil. You can now add it to your menu. You can also plate the dish from your recipe book. But I have a theme for our restaurant. It's going to go something like this. You take a bowl. I don't know, do we need a side dish for this? I don't think we do. I call it. I actually can't, it won't let me do it anymore. I think this is pretty cute. If you go to the um, mozzarella, you can just put the whole damn thing in there. So you put the mozzarella in. 
tomato hat times two. No, this is better. Let's uh. So a whole damn mozzarella, a whole damn tomato. Top and bottom. A basil. A whole dang plant. In a geometric configuration, of course. Yes. And the vinegar. Just just all over everything. Make it make it bathe. And that's your plate. This is what you get when you order the uh, tomato and caprese salad. I hope you enjoy it. Um, smear. More basil. I think it's got enough basil as it is. No, this one we keep it simple. Save the plating. Take the picture. I call it uh, the crab. The, the the crab in the sea. Caprese. Crab in the sea, Caprice. Use this plating. This is our dish. Wonderful. I love it. Te technical execution A+. Plus. Ingredient quality 4 stars. This is our best dish we've ever made. It's a salad. I mean, how can you screw it up, right? Anyways, on to our still mayonnaise and green beans. Get our ingredients first. Uh, flour, butter, glass of olive oil. It was not orange juice. Do not drink that. Uh, green beans with a rubber band, of course. And fish. Fish. Probably prep the fish here. Oopsies, oopsies, oopsies. Um, make filet of sole. You can prep it beforehand and keep it in the refrigerator. Use chopping block, put fish on block, lay of sole, down, left, 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 and there's your fish. Uh, flowered sole, using mixing station? Yeah, mix, mixing table. Flour, fish, start. Down for the fish. And that's it. Easy. Cooked green beans. You're gonna need a pot. Some, res some recipes require a pot to be filled with water. Go to the sink to fill the pot. All right, pot of water. I'm just going to set this over here. I don't really want to clean that right now. Use cooking range. Place ground bonds. F. Start green beans. Do you guys need seasoning? I've seen a lot of salt. How about now? Perfect. Oh yeah, just to finish up our thought from earlier, because the game lets you just put whole ass ingredients into your dishes, the name of our restaurant is going to be uh, something bucket themed. Bucket in French is sale. Sale. Or Le Godet is also a bucket apparently. Le Godet, I think, is a, a good name for our restaurant. All of our dishes are just going to be whole ass ingredients into a plate. And customers can do what they want with it. Make their own salads. Eat them whole. Whatever whatever they feel like. I guess I got to take all these. That's a whole lot. Uh, the pot was not preheated. And the water was what? Make sole menuier. Again, I'm just gonna get a frying pan. 
put this over here. I don't want to use that right now. Uh, use cooking range. Press E. Starting properly. Some foods cook better if the cookware or cooking medium is already hot. They are listed in the recipe book as preheated pan and boiling water. Uh huh. The preheat cookware place on the range and turn on the heat. An indicator appears when it is hot enough. Once the cookware has preheated, you can add the ingredients. So place the sole, the butter, the olive oil, and turn the power on. Butter is going to come eventually. Any moment now they're going to make me add that butter in. You might add the butter right at the end. Who knows? Apparently no seasoning needed for the, uh, the fish. You just kind of fry it in the oil and that's good enough. Does not look very appealing at the moment the way it is. But people want to eat what they want to eat. Our green beans have gone cold. It's very upsetting. I have an indicator at the top left telling me when to put the butter in. I guess they want it right now. The butter was missing. That's what the indicator was. So they wanted that in the first, uh, first setting there. Eventually, after the tutorial, I have seen a couple of people play this. We will get heating stations to protect our ingredients from going cold while we're cooking. Turn that heat up a bit. Get this fish done. Take some manière. Manière. It was cooked well. Make your dish filet of soul. Use those cold ass green beans. Yeah, you could plate it like that. Or, uh, we're gonna go with the white dish. You will have a sauce of this one, so let's use a little boat, a teardrop boat in blue. Yeah. Then you have <laughs> the whole ass fish. The green beans with the rubber band still on. Times two, because we want our customers to be healthy. And then this is like a butter sauce, I'm guessing. Alright, that's everything. Uh, I actually kind of like the smear. When they come from the edge of the rim. Towards the fish. As if it was like thrown onto the plate from like the other side of the room. And there you go. Le Godé, So, Mayonier, and Green Beans. Take our picture. Just like that. Delicious. And we're gonna use this plating. That's our fish. That's our dish. Oh, look at that. I'm no 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 I'm delicious. Talk to your associate, Kasim. Hey Kasim. I finished setting up the storeroom. We can order our produce starting tomorrow. I saw what you did with those two new dishes. They look delicious. Thank you. you Wanna keep working on them or do you want to try something else? Let's keep moving on. Keep on keeping on. 
It's great to see you so enthusiastic. By the way, I invited Max, the delivery girl, to eat here tomorrow night. It's a chance for us to thank her for the extra produce, and we can have a practice service. You in the kitchen, me in the dining room. Hells yeah. I think we've done all we can for today. We deserve a rest. I'll see you tomorrow. And that's day two. Here we are. Our restaurant's all set up. It looks very nice. Thank you, Kasim, for getting that set up for us. There's our storeroom with our ingredients in it. Let's take a look. Twenty minute episode. Let's go ahead and do the service as well. This will be a bit of a longer one. Kasim! I just installed the blackboard. Doesn't that look great? That's where we'll write down the dishes. Our customers can order. So, what's on the menu for tonight? Come and find me in the storeroom once you've decided. You choose the dishes for the evening service from the blackboard. Your customers will order the dishes shown here. The daily special is more likely to be ordered. Based on the dishes you select, your menu evolves and may start to specialize in certain cuisine. As you level up, your dishes will become more sophisticated. Putting these more advanced dishes on the menu will raise the prestige of your restaurant. The dishes on the menu will determine the ingredients you need for the evening service. Daily special is going to be Prestige casual cuisine. Your clientele likes simple dishes and is more forgiving of problems. Let's put the beef and potatoes, the Solomonier, and the Caprici. Beef and potatoes is going to be our daily special because I think that's going to be simple. It's worth 15 euros. Go to the storeroom. Welcome to the storeroom. This is where you place orders for produce and ingredients. Everything stays in the fridges here until we place them on the kitchen shelves. I'll let you take a look around, but don't forget to put in an order. We can't cook without ingredients. Call the market. Uh, it looks like everything is empty, so we need one of everything. This is the market. You can order fresh produce from suppliers here. Each tile represents a different supplier. Look at what they offer and add the produce you want to your cart. You can check the ingredients you need for the evening service here. Your needs will vary depending on what dishes are on the menu. Make sure you have all the produce you need in your cart before placing your order. Uh, speed market. Quality basic. Origin international. Price per unit 2 euros. Uh, discount minus 25% of over 5 year units. You have selected the produce needed for the evening service. You can place your order once you have checked your invoice. From your invoice, you can check the details of your order. Note that your responsibility might be affected by the origin of the produce you bought. And don't forget to place your order before leaving the market. So this thing will actually let me like shop around. Speed market is cheaper than supermarket. So let's reduce these all the way. Cozy shop. It's just national ingredients. Agriculture store is local, but you gotta pay more. It's still basic quality, so... Oh, I see. You unlock the higher tier quality restaurant qualities as you level up, I'm assuming. Uh, as I have mentioned, we are 100,000 euros in debt, so of course we only have two, 200 euros to our name. These are all the ingredients we need. So we place our order. Great, the delivery is on its way. In the meantime, you can put the finishing touches to the dining room. Consider delivered, chef. Thank you. 
add a second cooking range to your kitchen. How do I do that? Enter design mode. To go into design mode, use one of the renovation stations inside your restaurant. You have two, one next to the storeroom door and another next to your office. Do I have an office? In design mode, you can move each workstation. You can also add new ones if you own them. You can have more, one, you can have more than one of the same workstations. Interact with the workstation while in design mode to open the catalog and choose a station you want in that location. For kitchen layout to be valid, you need at least one of each workstation required for the day's menu. Uh, we're in design mode. I think it makes sense to have another range right there. Perfect. No uh, non-slip four yet, but we'll get there eventually. Go to the dining room, decorate the restaurant. Kitchen, lobby, entry. Decorating the dining room. You can now customize your dining room by interacting with the furniture you want to change. Some decor has a theme, like bistro or trattoria. Having multiple pieces of furniture the same theme will create a certain mood for the room. You also have access to a catalog for the kitchen and dining room. Use the money you earn during services to buy new items. You can then customize the restaurant to suit your style. Customize plant. Coat rack. Floor lamp. Decorative plants with candles. I think that's kind of cute. Get some candles. Nice warm. Nice warm environment. Do we have a, a tap? We have beers on tap? Look at that. I think we're gonna aim for a gastronomica, whatever that means. It sounds like it's gonna be filling food. And that's the kind of restaurant I want. I want people to be happy and full of chicken pot pie. Because I am Pierre Pie. Here's your first delivery. I've already put everything in your fridges, so no need to worry about that. Thank you, Max. By the way, produce will drop in quality if you leave it in the storeroom too long. So watch out for that. And they also have an expiration date. Keep that in mind because you want to serve fresh dishes to your customers. Oh, and I got Kasim's message. Thanks for the invite. See you soon. Yeah, thanks, Kasim. Uh, go to the stock management table and check your stocks. Uh, two fish, three meat, four veg, and three starbursts. Uh, grocery and dairy, of course, of course. Uh, you can't enable the vegetarian restaurant options because your menu contains fish or meat dishes. Also, we're not rabbits, so pick up the crate. Uh, Autofill crate, just hold the expiration dates. First in, first out, baby. FIFO away. Doesn't matter because we only have enough ingredients for today. But we'll just autofill everything with everything. Now we stock our shelves. Stand in the middle of everything. And press E. There we go. Meat, veg. We got our blackboard all set up. I think we're actually going to do a service now. Do you remember what our cooking instructor used to say? Always preparing in advance is the key to success. With a new delivery, you can start prepping for this evening's practice service. Max and I will act like regular customers, so make sure you've prepared some things in advance, just like any other day. Cut tomato slices, cut sliced mozzarella, cut chopped shallot. Tomato shallot, potato. Cut french fries. Mozzarella is over here. And prepare floured sole. So we're gonna need the flour as well. Let's start with the fish then. Prep sole, use block. Start the fish. Down, left, 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 left. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Take the filet of sole. I believe it's a mixing table for the floured sole. Place all and start. Down the fish and you're good to go. Bing bang boom. Easy peasy. 
head over to our chopping board. Tomato, shallot, fries. Can't do th uh, more than three. We start the slices. Chop, 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 chop. More slices. Chop, 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 chop. French fries. Chop, 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 chop. Uh, take everything. Place the mozzarella. Slice mozzarella. Chop, 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 chop. Perfect. Take it, and we're good to go. Place everything in the refrigerator. Not allowed is cooked fish or hot items. Advanced prep. All advanced prep items placed here will be catch for the evening service. All right, cool. Looks like we're good. Cook cooked green beans on the cooking range. Well, let's get the green beans first then. Uh, green beans. There is no sprint. We need our seasonings. Uh, we take a pot, get some water, put the pot on the range, and I believe we turn it on. We can place our green beans, and once it boils, we'll be ready to throw them in there. I don't know what this water droplet means. Can I actually go look? I'm gonna let that cook for a bit. I'm gonna see what the, um... Nope, can't check. Okay. Let's head on back to our green beans. Water's boiling, throw those beans in there. Wow. First phase went quick. Season, chef sense. I've seen a lot of salt. Perfect. Tab to quit. I mean, we can walk around while this is cooking now. I don't think we need to stand there and watch the pot boil. Kasim, how's the restaurant going? It looks nice. Nice, I like what you've done with the place. Really glad I left you in charge of the decor. I actually suck at it. So I appreciate, I appreciate you doing that for me. This is our heating station. This is where we're gonna keep our pot while it's, uh, after it's done cooking, I should say. Let's get back in here, it's getting close. Pick up the pot with the cooked green beans. Hold F to carry the pot. Place the pot on the warmer. Place. Talk to your associate, Cassine. Those are A plus green beans. Good, good stuff. You're doing great. We'll be able to have Max come for the service. You can go in the kitchen. I'll welcome her and take her order. Here we go, our first service. You've just started a service. Customers' orders are usually taken by your service, but as this is only a practice service, Kasim and Max will give you their orders directly. Once the tables have made their choice, their orders are shown at the top of your screen. To help you, the recipes for all the dishes on the menu are automatically pinned when the service begins. Don't forget that you can still use all the food you previously stored on the warmer and in the refrigerator. I need a... A table is placed in order. Try to serve the dishes as fast as possible. A table left waiting too long will become impatient and you will lose points for the service. On the other hand, you earn extra points for serving the table quickly. With the second cooking range you installed, you can cook two foods at the same time. It's a good way to save time during the service. Alright, let's get my soul. My mozzarella and tomato slices. I'm gonna turn on my fryer. Get my frying pan. Oopsies. Uh, in here. We got the green beans, so we need the olive oil and the butter. And that's it. I'm also gonna need the 
basil for the caprese. Oh, the sauce hasn't started. Oof. Get this fish started. Ah, uh, this needs to be preheated. This does not need to be preheated. Uh-huh. We're gonna add the butter. I need my seasonings. I thought I needed seasonings. Do I actually need the basil? Where is the basil? There we go. Still no seasoning here. I guess I was wrong about that one. I never... I thought you needed seasoning. I must have been crazy. Looks like we're gonna miss our faster bonus on the uh, first order there. We can maybe turn up the fish to get it cooking faster, but the balsamic sauce you want to make sure you don't burn it by cooking it in too high a heat. Uh, turn these off. There we go. All right. Let's do our balsamic sauce first. Place it. Take balsamic cream. There we go. Start it. Down, down, down. Season it. Shift sense. It's a lot of salt. Give it two sprinkles. Not enough salt. Because of that sauce, we're good to prep. Well, I've done this. So I kind of encase how the smears want their meats cooked. You may need to cook the meat for a longer or shorter time to serve as requested. Take the fish. Uh, three. Uh, use the warmer. How do, I, how do I get my green beans out of here? Take. I want some green beans. There we go. Right. Use plating station. Let's get this fish done first. We could have had the meat cooking while we were doing this, but we were struggling to find those green beans. A plus on the technical execution. Serve it. Take it. I think we need to get the, um, the salad done first. Start plating. Yeah, you have to serve both dishes at the same time. That makes sense. A nice crab in a pot. F serve dish. Oh, we gotta serve this one too. E. There we go. This is hectic. Um. We got these already prepped. 
you get a meat cooked meat cut prep use beef steak down down easy peasy oh i need that grab cookware i need a frying pan let's place that there for now use the fries we're gonna place the french fries cooking range place the meat starter up add the shallots seasoning I see a lot of salt and enough black pepper one two three not enough salt I don't like that sound perfect Uh, take. There we go. Thank you. Use the warmer, place the fries. Need a flip. Alright, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Everything's going well. I guess we could have known that they were gonna want like these three dishes and started cooking our meats ahead of time. We're cooking this to uh, medium, so a little bit longer. Oopsies. No, don't stop cooking it. Keep cooking it. Oh, please put that back on there. God damn it. Well. They're going to be even madder once uh, they get this dish, I tell you what. That's not my fault. There's no way I could have known that you can't turn the thing back on. It's still really well executed. Just not what they were looking for. Satisfaction 70 and 60. It was a good service. Not a great service, just good. We spent like 20 something on ingredients, I think. So 46. We're pretty much doubling our money. That's not bad. Uh, double thumbs up on both sides. And he always looks good and I'm never disappointed. Worth a visit if you're in the area. Sure, thank you. Thanks for the meal. It was simple food, but it really hit the spot. You'll have clients lining up around the block for sure. For a practice service, it went really well. It gives me a lot of confidence for the grand opening. Now that our guest has gone, it's time to clean up the kitchen. It's the evening ritual. I still have a couple of things to take care of before we open, so I'll leave you to it. Well, tomorrow is a big day. I'll meet you here at noon. Get some rest in the meantime. Good night. Once service is over, you can go directly to the next day. We'll clean up. We'll clean up and we'll end the episode. So you throw out the green beans, clean the pot. A bit of a waste for all those green beans, but it is what it is. Uh, this pot is hot. This pan is hot. Take the pan, wash the pan. Everyone knows you want your um, Smoking hot pans to just be slathered in ice cold water to keep them fresh. I think we gotta turn off the oil as well. As long as you don't have to actually do any uh, cleaning, this is a bit relaxing compared to the stress of the uh, service. Place the pot. Deep fryer. Turn off. And I think that's everything. 
We got a second recipe book. Oh, we can put those seasonings back. Uh huh. All right, that was a good day's work. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening. If you liked the episode, please click the like and subscribe button. It really helps small channels like this one grow and reach a wider audience. And goodbye.